Alaska. Time is 6.17. We have storm tracker meteorologist Carson Meredith with another fall day ahead. A little bit warm out there today, oh, yeah. though. Upper 70s, near 80. Definitely okay, not... so don't listen to me. Listen to Carson. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's definitely not feeling like the crisp fall air that we had this past weekend, but it is still fall in North Alabama. Definitely feels like it this morning, though. On the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network right now, it's a quiet picture. Make sure the kiddos have the light jacket heading to school this morning, but they won't need it this afternoon. 51 degrees here as they head off to school today. 78, that's our forecast high. This might be one of those days where the kiddos forget their jackets at school because they won't need it after school today. Again, 78 your forecast high, near 80 for some spots, especially out in northwest Alabama later on today. So it's all quiet for your Wednesday, but let's talk about Thursday. Got a couple of things going on tomorrow. Gulf moisture getting pumped into North Alabama and another cold front that's going to move through with those two particular features working together. We're going to have two main rounds of showers and thunderstorms for your Thursday. That first round that arrives with that Gulf moisture close to sunrise tomorrow morning. We're talking anywhere between let's say 4 or 5 a.m. through around 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. So right in the middle of the morning commute tomorrow, 24 hours from now. We'll get a little bit of a break by 11 a.m. tomorrow and then a second round arrives along the cold front tomorrow afternoon and evening. We're starting around 2 or 3 p.m. lasting until about 7 or 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Not going to be a washout, but I definitely want you to keep that umbrella on hand throughout the day on your Thursday. Future radar is quiet today. Just some of that filtered sunshine back in the upper 70s this afternoon. Most of your overnight is quiet. If you have any evening plans tonight, you're going to be fine. Watch what happens around 4 a.m. Thursday morning, that Gulf moisture streaming back into North Alabama, and we got a few pop up showers developing pretty much right on top of us. They will continue through the morning rush hour, especially east of I-65. There's 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. There's that break in between the two rounds around 11 o'clock tomorrow, and here comes that cold front from the northwest up in Tennessee. And along that cold front, very similar to what we saw last week, we're going to have a narrow line of showers and storms develop right along that cold front. There you see it developing by 4, 430 tomorrow afternoon. Could have a few storms in northeast Alabama for that drive home from work tomorrow evening. As we get towards 730, that line is pretty much exclusively in Sand Mountain, and that front is out of here as we get towards midnight tomorrow night. Rainfall totals, thankfully, we're not expecting a whole lot of rain. West of I-65, you're going to see around a tenth to a quarter inch of rain tomorrow. Higher totals east of 65, those darker green colors in northeast Alabama down near Gadsden. That's where we might see a quarter to half inch of rain exclusively for Thursday. Not expecting any flooding concerns, but there won't be much of a cool down with this particular cold front. Nothing like the cool down we saw last week, that's for sure. Especially those overnight lows. It's going to be near 60 degrees tomorrow morning, dipping to near 50 by Saturday morning. But notice we climb back up into the mid 50s and close to 60 by Monday morning. And that's just the overnight lows. Look at the seven day forecast with those high temperatures. Yeah, early next week, still in the low 80s. And we'll have to keep an eye on another system that's kind of developing in the Midwest Sunday night and a Monday. That could mean some higher rain chances here at home early next week. A little bit too early to say at this point. Let's just get through those thunderstorms tomorrow. The weekend looks pretty good, by the way. Still warm, though, mid-70s to near 80 Saturday and Sunday.